Hi, my name's Chris Ashworth. Um, I'm a creative director at Microsoft. I uh, work on kind of consumer marketing stuff for uh, Surface, Windows, Edge, and um, Microsoft 365. Also, I have a bit of a nighttime job just doing personal design work. Uh, so yeah, past, present, future. So past, um, first piece of graphic design, I think was um, New Order's Low Life. So I was 16, um, living in Liverpool, um, going to HMV, just started, really, I got into music a bit late. One of my mates around the corner got me into it. He was a John Peel devotee. So he used to just feed me all the stuff he liked. And I, I just kind of grew up on, on that sort of filter. And um, yeah, I got into New Order. And uh, yeah, that's the one that stuck in my mind. I remember getting on the train at Formby, going to HMV in Liverpool and coming home with that sleeve. And there was a 10 minute walk from the station back home. And it absolutely chucked it down. And uh, the tracing paper, if you're familiar with the sleeve, got totally ruined. It like, I got home and it was all like, it was all crinkled. So um, that kind of ruined the rest of my weekend. Um, but I was, I was kind of drawn to the, the kind of like the, the look of it, but also like the format, you know, it had the Trevor Key, make your own kind of sleeve thing, interchangeable um, shots of the band. And um, it, it was sort of that as well as the trace and the type. And, and then obviously the album, um, still probably my sort of second favorite album of theirs. And um, I don't know, like the Barney haircut at that time. I don't know, it was, all, it was the hooky bass line. I mean, it was just, I just, that was my first experience of really actually just you know engaging and recognizing and being drawn into a piece of graphic design um so that's past present uh, miraculous thing happened this morning actually this is kind of weird timing um my site went live ashworth dot work so uh it's a bit of a long story but i'm a huge um i suffer from acute technophobia so um, it's taken me, well, I started a site about four years ago and then I killed that because it just, it, it was like mind numbingly painful to do. Um, so I killed that. And then a couple of weeks ago, I was talking to a designer in my team and he's like, you know, you can get these off the shelf kind of things now that are pretty cool. They kind of moved on, they're kind of pretty nice. So I, I had a look at Squarespace and um, yeah, took me two weeks two weeks from start to finish and really it's just you know a case of getting the content and um sort of slugging it in so yeah that went live this morning that was a bit of a miracle um so yeah it's basically it's just got sort of some of my favorite personal stuff for the last 30 years on there um and i'll keep i'll keep adding to it um and i got a, a project that i can't talk about unfortunately but uh uh, that'll be going up on there before the end of the year, which is, it's probably like, if I could think of any projects that I'd love to do the most, this one, this one will be in the right up there. So it's a bit of a dream project. Um, so I'm looking forward to sharing that one. And then lastly, uh, a future. So a bit of advice. So I don't know, a bit of advice from a wise old 51 year old. Um, I guess like I meet these people at work and they have a, a career plan and I, you know, they want to go here and I'm like, I never had a plan. Don't have a plan. Plans are rubbish. Don't have a plan. Follow your gut, follow your instinct. Uh, I don't want to say don't listen to what, what other people think. Cause that, I, I don't think there's, you know, just follow your instincts, follow your gut and um, don't overthink it. Right. A lot of my work, whether you love it or you hate it, um, it's it's just done on instinct. It's like, um, you know, sketchbooks. Get a bit of paper, get a scribble, just get something down. Um, more than anything, just do it. Just just try and do it. Just get on with it. Don't, don't overthink it. 
would be my advice.